All right, here we go, everybody. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Those of you who don't know me, well, now you're getting to know me, hopefully. So I'm gonna start out this landscape with a little something I like to call a straight line. <laughs> I don't think it's that straight. Anyways, guys, look, check it out. Anyways, I'm gonna make this as fun as possible because uh, I gotta do quite a, quite a bit of this today. I've been a painter for, uh, I don't know, like my whole life. But I've been a full-time artist for the past almost almost 10 years now. Somewhere around there. I'm going around there. Um, it's It's been a, a, a beautiful, beautiful ride. I love what I do. And uh, I'm discovering so much about painting and myself that uh, I didn't even know you know I, th I think it's it's part of part of the process part of the journey if you will and so I'm, I'm I'm very grateful that this is happening the way it is uh it's got ups, ups and downs you know but but um but it's got more ups and down, than downs and, and that's why I keep doing it it's got definitely more more ups, and so that's the beauty of it. Look at this. I'm using a big brush right here to make my little. I think I think it's going to be trees, something like that, something representational a little bit. It's not completely abstract, but um, but it's got that element, right? This is a 12 by 24 inches on stretch canvas. It's oil oil and stretch canvas and I, I wish I could show you guys more but this videos really just allow me to show the canvas Other, otherwise I'd be like moving and editing and cutting and, and that's not really my jam because it's just me recording right now so look at this look at that I love to paint with my, my paint super buttery it allows me to tap into something else which is which is movement right movement many times oil paint doesn't allow you to do that unless you're painting very thin but if you're painting thick it's a little harder to do that because you have to push it right you have to push it um, you have to push it around and and I make my my paint thin enough where I can pull it I, I'll push it too but I but I can also pull it and so it allows it allows me to do all kinds of fun brush gestures, right? The gestures. Almost like if I had a very heavy body acrylic paint and and but I'm not trying to accomplish uh, the the characteristics of, of acrylic paint. I'm not really trying to look for that. I just I, I really love oil paint. I just need it to move. You know, just to move a little bit more than than what um, it usually does. That's all. I just need it to be a little bit more soft. So I do that. I actually soften my paint. I show that on YouTube. There's a few videos where you can watch that how I soften my paint, and uh, that's the reason why I soften it. Some people think that it's so that I can paint faster, and yeah, that certainly helps me. But that's not the reason why. And speed is not important unless unless you know uh, what you're doing and unless and unless it's something that you care about uh, in your artwork not not as as a matter of the product uh, or profit but in your artwork because if you're if you're just speeding up for profit you you may not you may not be doing uh, yourself a favor okay I'm telling you I, I used to do that. Okay, I've done that before where, where I sped for profit. It, it doesn't help you if it's not part of your work. Meaning if it's not if it's not the way you're supposed to paint. And so what I did is I, I learned how to just have patience with the work, you know? And 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 not just speed has always been part of the way that I paint. But I, but I lost patience when I was doing it. And so I learned how to be patient with my work and allow it to come forward. And be okay also with what 
uh, I would have considered a mistake, you know, uh, some time ago. I would I would be considering many things mistakes, and and so that's not good either, you know. Uh, so it's a learning curve. It's a learning process. I know I'm sharing with you guys a lot here uh, of my my journey, but that's the whole point of these videos. I want to I want to be able sh to show some videos where I'm I'm sharing with you guys. Uh, the way I use paint and, and sort of like the painting basics that I do uh, but also I want to be able to share other things that that I I think are important which is the the mindset of the artist I think that's extremely important having the right mindset the right the right attitude and whatever that is for you you can only you're the only one who can calibrate that for yourself but uh but I'm going to be showing you what I believe the right mindset for me is. And if that helps you, you know, awesome. If it doesn't, uh, well, you know, it's okay. You can leave it and, and just take what works for you. How about that? How about that? Just leave it and only take what you want to take. I love using these brushes. It's very simple super economical brushes and I don't really use them because they're economical uh, I, I use them because well maybe I do you know because it was the first the first uh, wide brushes that I start using I started using this uh, uh, some time ago uh, I think I'm about to sneeze three two one no <coughs> yes oh man there we go oh, excuse me it just happened I don't know I hope it's nothing. It's been very cold here. I have uh, heaters on in my studio. Uh, I have a fairly large studio too. Those of you who don't know, uh, it's over 3,000 square feet. And uh, and it keeps me busy. It keeps me so busy, man. It's, uh, I just, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. Super blessed, yeah. Look at this. Ooh la la. There we go. There it is. I think that's I think that's where it is. Oh, hold on. I need to. I don't need to, but I want to. There we go. Now we have a little something else going on there. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care guys. Bye-bye.